Good day, everyone. Um, I am Yawirin C. Tendang. My co-writers are Mikaela T. Lancanan, Jamaica V. Meliabe, Andrea Denise Rehoto, and Dr. Romel M. Asiron. The title of our study is COVID-19 Perspectives on Drinking Liquor as Preventive Measures in the Philippine New Norm under College of Industrial Technology, Batanga State University, JPLPC Malvar. For our introduction, a virus is a contagious disease infecting people without even seeing it. It gradually weakens anyone's body. Now, the world is facing a pandemic. Pandemic is an epidemic affecting people around the globe. The virus that the world is facing right now is called COVID-19. It is a deadly virus which already killed a million of people worldwide. It can easily be transmitted through sneezing and body contact. <clears throat> um, the situation or context of our study is Filipinos are known as a friendly race because of their generosity and hospitality. They used to see their colleagues to have a drink even without any special occasions to celebrate with. It is already part of their culture, reason why liquor ban is not easy to be implemented. The problem of, of our study is um, Philippines is considered as a third world country, which means it is a developing nation. Poverty is everywhere. In the midst of this pandemic, the problem of lack of knowledge and financial assistance to support their basic needs to, pre to prevent COVID-19 like face masks, face shields, and alcohol are the reasons why some Filipinos came up with the speculations that drinking alcohol helps to prevent or cure the said virus. Objectives of the study the, this research aimed to assess the perspectives on the drinking liquor as preventive measures in the Philippine setting. Specifically, it aimed to determine the perspectives of Filipinos on drinking liquor as preventive measures against COVID-19 and to provide salient information relevant to Filipino perspectives. For our um, salient findings, um, the survey indicates that the, that the poverty and the spread of misleading information are the common reasons why Filipinos used to believe in their own speculations that beverages help to prevent COVID-19. Effectiveness of alcoholic drinks It can be explained that the respondents agree on the effectiveness of alcoholic drinks to prevent COVID-19 because of the influence of other people, which obtained a mean score of 2.82. It was rated as fourth, probably because it is the primary, primary belief of the selected individuals of this study. It means that despite the contradictory um, explanation of the experts in regards to the accurate effects of alcoholic drinks in human body, they still prefer drinking liquor to, re to prevent COVID-19. In spite of lack of evidences that alcoholic drinks can prevent can help to prevent COVID-19, the respondents agree that even without scientific evidence, Drinking liquor as preventive measures can freely be practiced, which obtain a mean score of 2.94. It ranked third, probably because the respondents are free spirit. They just say whatever per perception they have without, without even thinking how it can affect the situation. 
The experts already made it clear that drinking liquor affects the immune system. Moreover, it has nothing to do with the prevention of COVID-19. It, it can be explained that the respondents disagree that those who drink liquor are at higher, higher risk of getting infected by the virus because it weakens one's body protection which obtained a mean score of 2.45. It was rated as 12th, probably because some Filipinos don't really believe in science. They just depending on their superstitious belief. Superstitious belief. In, in the same manner, the, response, the, the respondents agree that beverages are cheaper compared to prescribed medicines by experts, so they go for it, which obtain a mean score of 2.68. It ranked sixth, probably because they are in poverty. Poverty is everywhere in the Philippines. Furthermore, many Filipinos have no other option but to believe with speculations. Hmm. On the other hand, it can be explained that the respondents agree that there's nothing wrong having speculations about the prevention of COVID-19 because it gives hope to poor people who can't afford medicines and PPE as prescribed by doctors, which obtain a mean score of 3.33. It was rated as first. Undoubtedly, because the majority of those affected, affected by the pandemic are the poor. However, the respondents agree that they often drink alcoholic drinks not just for the prevention of COVID-19 but also to get, to get rid of their stress brought by lockdown, which obtained a mean score of 2.70. It was rated as fifth, probably because of self-isolation. Additionally, many people are experiencing mental breakdown because, because they don't know how to deal with the current situation. They are known as a very sociable and friendly race. They love to have someone to talk to because it helps the mind to relax. Influences and acquaintances on the use of liquor. Filipinos are undeniably known for, the, for their hospitality. It is their nature to befriend and socialize with different kinds of people. On the contrary, the respondents disagree that they influence their friends and acquaintances to drink liquor to prevent COVID-19, which obtain a mean score of 2.22. It ranked thirteenth, probably because they know to themselves that there's not, th there's no assurance they can that they can really be guarded from getting infected by drinking liquor, so they don't want to make their friends believe that it is really effective. Also, it can be explained that there that the respondents agree that drinking liquor. Drinking culture of Filipinos is one of the reasons why some of the people came up with speculation that alcohol intake, intake can prevent COVID-19, which obtained a mean score of 2.53. Both statements ranks 7.5 probably because Filipinos are hard-headed. They believe what they want to believe without considering the health protocols of the government. <clears throat> On the other hand, the respondents disagree that they are knowledgeable that the experts and the government contradicted the effectiveness of drinking liquor to prevent COVID-19 with its scientific explanation and evidences which obtain a mean score of 2.37. It was rated as 14th, probably because Filipinos believe in, in this theory for various reasons, one of which being their inability to, to purchase needs during the pandemic they are facing. Apart, apart from this, the respondents disagree that they are aware 
and updated in news about experts and government's safety protocols and guidelines in regards to COVID-19 and also the prescription of professionals and government and government about the prevention of COVID-19. Both obtained a mean score of 2.48. It ranked 10.5 probably because the number one TV station in the Philippines, which is ABS-CBN Entertainment, were forced to shut down. Without a doubt, the respondents disagree that they consistently receiving financial assistance from the government, local government in the Philippines or LGUs and barangay, which support their, their daily needs during pandemic, such as food, hand alcohol, face masks, face shields, and vitamins, which obtain a mean score of 2.12. It was rated as 15, probably because the government has no enough budget to support the needs of every, of every Filipinos during the pandemic. It means that poverty pushed them to believe and depend on their spe own speculations. In addition, it can be ex explained that the respondents agree on the belief that government incom incompetence is the main reason why some Filipinos are just depending on speculations which obtain a mean score of 3.28. It ranked second, probably because they can observe that the Philippine government is just relying to other countries for support. For our conclusions, based on the findings, this descriptive quantitative research concludes that on the theme of effectiveness on alcoholic drinks said to be the most positive, apparently the majority of Filipinos do not accept that a person's alcohol use is influenced by others. The research concluded that poverty, misleading information, lack, go lack of government assistance, and lack of knowledge lead to specula speculation which has been practiced more than the advice of experts, and also the, the culture. Practical and social implications. The result of this study will help, will help to clarify the speculations of Filipinos to invoice the problems which identified by this study to the government. Um, the keywords of uh, our study are liquor, culture, poverty, misleading information, lack of government assistance. Thank you, Pa. Thank you, Pa. Thank you, Pa. Thank you, Pa.